Good morning. Good morning. I'm Kathy Hamilton. I'm on the board of Community Coalition on High Speed Rail. This is my ninth year following the project. And I just wanted to remind some of the people, um, some of the board members were not here way back when. I think Lynn Schenk is the remaining um, constant who's been on the board. Um, just wanted to talk a little bit about the cost and time of the project. Um, the history, very briefly, 2008, it was passed, the bond measure was passed, the cost was predicted right before the bond measure to be around $33 billion, and that was to be shared in one-thirds with the federal government, with the state, and with private investors. It was to be built by 2017. In 2009, the authority sent a legislative uh, group a report that said that all of the environmental work would be completed by 2012. <coughs> Newest estimates today show that uh, we should have the environmental work completed by the end of 2017, but there are doubts and there are extensions that may be in the offing. The cost has had an erratic, uh, an erratic time. 33, 43, 98, 172, 117, 67, 66, 65, all over the map. Not confidence instilling to the public. But time causes cost to shoot up. And if this project f finishes in 2040, what will the cost really be? I think to the, the authority should try to get a handle on what the real costs are and not um, to restrict uh, companies such as URS to a baseline, but honest costs be done. And then you can tell the FRA and the LA Times that their numbers are wrong. Um, Rudolph, um, Mr. Van Ark, when he was um, the head of the program, he was, I guess, the CEO, he said that no project could be built without the federal government participation. He said that numerous times. And I know that the authority did go to Washington in the summer and ask for a $15 billion loan. And the then it was, of course, a Democratic group that they were talking to, and they expected it would be continued. And they didn't get a yes. Now we have Trump, who says he's interested in infrastructure projects. However, uh, Elaine Chao, who is his, um, ch uh, his uh, I'll be finished in about 30 seconds. Uh, she wants it to be with private investment, and the, and the authority hasn't had any luck yet with attracting private investment. I just wanted to say that the pl platform for the Republican, um, uh, the Republican Party stated that the high-speed rail in California would not get any more funds. So the question is, is that going to happen, or is Trump going to build in California who did not support him? But I do think the bottom line is you should get um, your costs redone honestly without restrictions so that the public knows and possibly to put it back on the ballot. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hamilton.